While deployed in Iraq, um, I was augmenting uh, Army's force protection and uh, while helping them in a checkpoint, a vehicle approached our location and detonated. I actually lost use of my right arm, partial of my left and my, so I had to rely and learn how to ride again and things like come on daily tasks. And uh, this uh, Warrior Games have helped me overcome a lot of that. Uh, I happened to go by chance to the office up in Randolph and uh, I ran into uh, Tony Hasso and he told me about this program. Hey, I haven't heard your name. And he spoke a little bit about it. I was hesitant. Of course, I wasn't ready yet. And my spouse and caregiver said, yeah, this will be good for him. Let's go ahead and sign him out. It's been really special, my time here at the Warrior Games and seeing him kind of like transition from the I'm not good for anything, I can't do anything, to actually seeing him become an athlete and seeing him so happy and so motivated and so social and helping others, uh, which in turn, uh, I see how much it helps him. I was kind of thrown into the fire, but it turns out it was the best thing for me. I found a, uh, some brothers or sisters that were going through the same thing that we were. It might not be the same situation, but we all were suffering from the same thing there's still the need to feel like we used to. The, the person that used to run, you know, mini marathons, the person who used to jump, who used to ride bikes, there's still that need, physical need. And then that can hinder you a lot also in your healing process. So when you're introduced to adaptive sports, it shows you that you can still do those things, just modify them in a way that your body can go ahead and cope with it, and not only cope with it, but succeed at it. Adaptive sports actually bridge the gap that you need right there and take you to where you need to be. Archery is a lot of clearing your mind, having peace in your soul. Also suffering from PTSD, there's so much clutter going in your soul, in your mind every day. You're always looking out for something to happen. But when you're in the range and it's just you, your body, and the target, you need to be clear-minded. And that brings happiness and, 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 and clears my soul. So. Sports has come into my life as a, as a great therapy, not only internally in my soul, but also physically, because you are challenged, you know. They don't just put you on something you might feel comfortable, they want to go ahead and challenge you. Let's, let's push your limits. Let's show you what you're capable of. I just hope that uh, we can reach as many of our airmen as we can, because for the amount of people that we help, I know there's still more that needed out there. We need to go ahead and make this known by everybody because for the ones that we have identified, we also have those who are yet to be identified because they haven't found that connection that they need to, to go ahead and take the step forward and say, I need help. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I am definitely sure that this could be the tool that we can use to help every airman so that we don't have to suffer another lost airman. The beautiful part about it too is you get to see other people in your same situation, not only from the Air Force but from the other branches and also uh, civilians too when you because some of our trainers are civilians. You get to see that it impacts everybody in the same way that they did you and they have overcome. I will overcome.